Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. I've, I did a camping vlog, but I realised that I hadn't done an intro to it. So here's me doing the intro to the camping vlog that I've just done, if that makes sense. So we took the, gran the grandkids camping for the first time. We've been camping for years. Uh, we took our own kids camping and we really enjoyed it. So we thought we'd see what Ashton and Harriet thought. So here's the camping vlog. So we're at Seddon, I think it's called Seddon Caravan and Camping Park, which is in Widrington, which is just up beside Morpeth. So it's only a 40 minute, 40 minute drive from where we live. Um, and I thought for the first time we were taking the kids camping, uh, we wouldn't go very far. They're only six and four, so we weren't sure how that was going to work out. So we've only come for one night. And it seemed like a lot of equipment to pack for one night. <laughs> But I, we got the frame of the tent up and I left the rest for Warren to do and brought the kids to the park while he got on with it because they were getting a bit bored. But it's up now anyway. Um, so we're going to have a play in the park and I think there's there's a lot of woodland around here. Um, so we're going to have a bit walk around the woods. So yeah, I'll catch up with you later. This is a catcher tent, I think it's a six man tent, uh, but it's usually just me and Warren in it. What are you doing shutting the bedroom are you? We've had this little stove stand here for about 25 years. I think once you get your camping equipment you're kind of set for a long time, for little holidays. We've got, uh, Chair, we've got Quetcha chairs as well. I think that's how, how you pronounce it. Quetcha, Kuweka, possibly. Um, this little green table we just took from our garden. It's an IKEA kids' table. And we just brought the garden rug with us. Got some little windbreaks up. So this is the bedroom of the tent. Um, it sleeps four people. We've got the grandkids with us this weekend. Uh, so we've got like a double mattress. And then we've got a single mattress as well. Um, I'm not sure where, who's going to sleep where. I think Warren's sleeping on the single. And me and the kids will sleep in the double. Because I'm finding it difficult to get up off the floor, especially first thing in the morning, we decided to buy some um, Ketcher bed bases. Which I don't know if I can show you properly there. Um, I don't know, I'll just take the, the sheet off. That's what the bed base looks like. Um, I'll show you a bit better when we've taken them out. I should have done it beforehand, really. But you can see it's got slats all the way up. Um, it's a blow up thing, and you kind of just fit the mattress on the top. As this is a do they're two single bed bases, but as this is a double mattress, it's got a strap in the middle that you can lock them together. Um, you can see there, they're nice and nice and high really um, it feels like a proper double bed so hopefully I can get up off there easier in the morning we haven't used them yet uh, so I'm hoping they're gonna work work fine It's a nice little camping area, it's a big campsite, I've got a big caravan park on it. This is the tent area around here, which is quite a nice secluded area. It's not very big, the, t the tent area. Um, this is the toilet block, so we're not far away from it. Uh, they've got the, ni the nice clean toilets and shower in there. Um, there's a water tap, I'll pull in the water bottle up. There's a nice little play park for the kids, which they're in now with Warren. Well, there can you grow there, can you push it? Dad, panda. 
Oh, is that fun? Oh, right, that's enough, that's enough! Break, break, break. I'm going to sit. Play in there, actually. Little, um, what would you call that? Like a little tree house thing. We've got some nice little slides for the younger <laughs> ones. Oh, what on earth? <laughs> trampoline over there but I'm not sure if we can use it and see some windmills in the back background wind turbines yeah it's not a bad little campsite um 20 pound to pitch a tent for the night which is quite nice This is a woodland area and it's got a little sign here that says den building area so we'll go over here and see what's there <laughs> it's always nice to be out in the countryside isn't it makes you feel better so i think somebody's already attempted Take to build a den here um, Put it up this side, uh huh? It looks quite fun. I think it needs a few more bits of wood. Like if it was raining, I think you would get wet. Do you think? We need grass to put it on it. To be you need fun. grass. I think you could live in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It easy. I'm just making if it's safe. Go on inside That's then and see if it's safe. What? Go on this inside and see if it's enough. safe. It's not stable enough, mm. is it? No. No. Is that your back door there? <laughs> it can hold it. I still have weight. It is really it's nice here, mind. Grandma, yeah. it's a whole experience. It's a whole experience, is it? Harriet, Harriet, what you got? What is this big one going? What you got there? Oh, it's gone. What was it? It was a beetle. A beetle. Do you like beetles? Yes, I love them. Do you? Yeah. How's the den building going, Ashton? We need moss. Yes, we need more camouflage. From all the predators. From the predators. <laughs> What predators? So tigers in here? No. And bears? No. no. What no? Is that your carpet, Harriet? Oh, I see some more timber over here. No, go back. Come on. Gotcha! Our den is finished! <laughs> Mama. Yes. Um, I want to go back to the tent. Okay. <laughs> Where's this one going, then, Ashton? Is this your den, Ashton, yeah, or, no, gran it's mine. or Granddad's den? My den, because I thought of it. I think it might be Granddad's den. Up here, like this. Yeah, well, Wait, Harry, ha oh, hang on. Camouflage with that, isn't it? This is the finished of it, so. This is the finished bit, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who watches Stranger Things, does this remind you of Castle Byers? This is a little um, cafe, what's it called? The Drift? The Driftwood Cafe. The Driftwood Cafe Driftwood in Creswell. Um, and it's got a double-decker bus bit that you can sit on and have your food. I think this is really cute. Do you think it's cute, kids? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Do you think it's cute, Harriet? Excuse me, week. Look, I've not had time this morning. I'm gonna dip it in the coffee. No.
What did you think of camping? Good. Did you? What about last night though? You weren't very happy. Bad. Why did you not like it in the bed? Because it's too squashed in them. Finally I got to sleep. And then it was until I, and then I just got to sleep. You were too squashed and then you went to sleep. Yeah. But were you happy this morning when you woke up? Yeah? Are you Harriet? I've done this by myself. Harriet? Are you happy this morning? I hadn't finished the camping vlog off so I'll just quickly do it now. Um, it was an experience taking the grandkids camping for the first time I'll have to say. I asked them if they enjoyed it and they said yes but then when we got back Harriet said I'm never going camping again <laughs> so I don't know if she enjoyed it or not. Uh, the, the bed bases that I bought were really comfortable once you got the double mattress on the top of that and, and slept on it it was very comfortable i have to say sleeping in in a in a double bed in that tent with two children um and warren on a single bed at the side it was very cramped very cramped it is a four-man tent um or kueka tent or kwecha tent um and I don't think you would get four adults in there. I really don't. Because with two adults, two large adults and two small children, it was very, very cramped. Um, but those bed bases, I highly recommend them. They were 70, 75 pound each. Um, they were easy to go up. They, you know, they blow up in seconds with the, with the pump. Um, they fold up really nicely so you can store them away. They don't take don't take up a lot of space and yet they were really comfortable and it did help us get up off of, off the floor it was so much easier rather than trying to roll onto my knees and stand up actually just to swing my feet off that bed base um, and stand up from that so I would highly recommend that so I hope you enjoyed the camping vlog have you been camping with your grandkids <laughs> did you enjoy it what did they think that's all I've got for you today uh, but I'll see you again soon so bye for now